All right, and welcome back to more Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Uh, last time we did some quests in Ruan. Uh, we found out more about, a little more about this, uh, this white shadow. And also tr kept trying to activate a hidden quest that's not ready yet. So now there's a riot going on, I believe, on the bridge. If I remember where the bridge is. I I had a bad habit of uh, looking at my mini-map more than the actual uh, field. You aren't fooling anyone. We know that you're behind the ghost that appeared at the hotel. Norman's son is bedridden from uh, this shock. Have you no shame? Uh, what disgusting tricks won't you stoop to? Oh, please. That son is a member of the Ravens. How do you expect us to trust something a worthless dog says? Wait a moment. Criticize me as you wish, but only a coward would attack my family. You will retract your statement calling my son a thug. Uh, that was probably a little much there. But, but, sir, why are you agreeing? It's because you've been on issues like that, that, uh, like this, that the tourism party dares to try such tactics. Who's daring to try such things? The harbor party is the one crossing the line. Do you really think your harassment with the, with this ghost will really stop us? Yikes, this is really getting out of, out of hand. Do you think we should step in? They ain't throwing punches yet, so stay cool. Get into a good position, though. If this does get real, we need to be ready to jump in. Yeah, but, uh, there are so many spectators we can't, we can't get any closer. How the heck did Niall manage to get in front already? Uh oh. Tensions rising. I can't take this anymore. Do you limp uh, wristed tourist suckers think uh, you can beat us in a straight fight? Oh, that's it. Let's do this. The employees of the Norman firm will, will uphold Mr. Norman's honor. Stop. All of you. Do not sink to the level of thuggery. Everyone, calm down. Uh, we should discuss this rationally. Oh, crap. Son of a... Don't think uh, we can stop him now. Oh, no. <sighs> I know that little dude. My goodness, what a tragedy in the making. Olivier, what are you doing here? Violence creates nothing. It only opens empty chasms between men. To you, I offer this song. A gentle, sad song to encourage you to overcome that which divides your hearts and join ha and joins hands as one. While well, he's going on this. <laughs> Uh, so how y'all been doing? I'm not up for a sing-along, okay? My thro my throat's killing me as it is. Probably should have brought a cough drop or two. Anyway, uh... So yeah, uh, I haven't been up to much lately. Uh, I've been trying to... Trying to play some, uh, games I need to, like, just beat. Because I've been... I've been collecting without beating, basically, and it, it's really annoying. I've also been, um, watching, watching some anime. Uh, uh, caught up on a little bit of Seven Deadly Sins. I've, I've been trying to keep, keep up on that, and it's not working. And, uh, my main fix lately is actually, uh, Naruto. Odd. Uh, but, uh, I, I, uh, watched that as a kid back when it was on Toonami. 
Uh, and then I just stopped for like many years. Ah, it seems you were all touched by my song. Remember, there is but one truth. Love is eternal. <laughs> he knows how to diffuse a situation through awkwardness. <clears throat> well, uh, Portos, I think it would be a good idea for both of us to cool our heads a bit. Yes, I agree. Besides, we're, uh, obstructing traffic. Yes. Back to the harbor, everyone. Y yeah. Right, I've got flyers to distribute. Oh, Dorothy's here too. Well, she, uh, she and I were, um, on the same, uh, thing together, so. And the fling begins. Can't blame them. Ah, uh, but the citizens here are as easily stirred to both action and rest as anywhere else. No, what truly moves them is the miraculous power of my melody. You there, reporters, take photos uh, and write articles to your heart's content over this day's miracle. Oh, okay, here, here we go. Say cheese. Hmm, marvelous. <laughs> He's buzzing. Uh, right. You guys still in the mood to talk about that stuff you want you mentioned before? Yeah, sure. I feel like I'll forget if we don't uh forget it if we don't uh report it soon anyway. Let's get back to the guild house and report to John ASAP. Mm hmm? Oh, Estelle, to where are you going? Wait, please. Wait. Ooh, what a great expression. How heartbroken. It's so cute. Why is he here? How fickle can uh, you can be, my rose. To meet your fated partner again after such a long absence, and then to abandon him. What cruel barbs you cast. Huh, fated person, my my left strega. What in the goddess's name are you, are you doing in Ruan anyway, Olivier? Are you supposed to be uh, turning into a, a prune in Elmo's Hot Springs? Mueller contacted me at the Maple Leaf Inn, you see. He was kind enough to tell me that you'd return from your, uh... Travails? What? Huh. I thought you were just said travels or something. And I thought to myself, she has been deprived of my person for so long. Her happiness is, uh, imperiled. I must welcome her back. And flew I uh, here post haste. It certainly feels imperiled now. Still, I haven't seen you since the Queen's birthday celebration. Thanks uh, for your help back then, Olivier. It is nice to see you again. Truly? Ah, but your honesty makes it difficult for me to stay focused. When you don't take the opening to make a joke at my expense, it leaves me. Wanting something more. <laughs> Let's see you deliver another line. <clears throat> Let's see you deliver another line like that through broken teeth. Whatever. John, this thing is Olivier, one of the people who helped us during the coup. <clears throat> oh, my throat's gone. <laughs> He's a musician from Erebonia, we think. Ah, nice to meet you. You seem like a interesting person. So I'm guessing you don't mind if we let him in on this then? Normally I'd want to kick him out on uh, his butt for being an outsider. I doubt he'd even listen though. Just try not to make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, okay. Truly, you are an uh, in intimately acquainted with my ways. 
Hey, stop trying to imply things. We've never even talked much. We just fought on the same side for a little while. Anyway, going beyond that... Yes, that sounds like a very good idea. Seriously, we have a story to talk about here. We don't have all day either. Dorothy and I need to get the scoop on the election. Right, right, I get it. So, this is uh, what the witnesses had to say. Estelle relayed the witnesses' testimonies and Kevin's analysis on the situation. I see. So, uh, you managed to gather a lot of detailed information. It's enough to see that something is definitely up, at least. Really? I thought it was all, uh... I really thought a lot of it was kind of vague. Well, the possibility of it being a prank from the mayoral candidates to cause problems for the other is out, for one. Scaring Norman's kid is one thing, but I... I kind of doubt they'd waste time scaring guards or orphans. Also, whatever this ghost is, it can fly. <clears throat> God, I've lost, I've lost all of the voice. Eh. That was uh, consistent across the report. That's not something Joe Average could pull off. Well then, it must be a real ghost. Maybe some ancient noble went crazy and uh, was locked up in a lonely cell and forced to wear a mask forever. And then, after hundreds of years, he revived as a spooky ghost. Please stop talking about such scary ideas with a happy face. Thanks. Besides, ghosts are supposed to be bound to people or places. So it really can't be a ghost, can it? Hmm, not necessarily. What do you mean, Javier? You notice something? Well, I cannot weigh in on the matter of our fugitive's ghostliness, however. Estelle's report features several common points. From what she said, I think it's uh, actually, quite possible our specter is bound to a place or a person. Oh, you're sharper than I thought. I was going to say the same thing, actually. <laughs> Indeed. As a wandering hunter of love, I must keep a map of liberal ha handy at all times. Let us use my map to look at a cell's sightings uh, from a geographical perspective. Now then, Estelle, you investigated three areas, I believe. Here, here, and here, yes? That's right. The Ruan Warehouse District, the Earl Latin Checkpoint, and the Mercia Orphanage. What about them? If we look at the testimonies uh, for differences, one particular point stands out. Estelle, I don't suppose you see it yourself now, looking at the map? They're a straight line, right? The point that obviously, uh, that was obviously different with all three testimonies. Wait, that'd be... When the white shadow appeared, where the white shadow went, uh, what the white shadow did. Where it went? I got it. It's where the ghost went that matters. Precisely. A raven-feathered, uh, tough man in the city's southern block said it went northeast. Our Air Latin Guardsmen said it went north. And our young orphans said uh, the White Shadow went east. What? Heh, <laughs> now I get it. Never would have figured. That's pretty conclusive, yeah. When you look at it like that, not many other places it can come from, really. Exactly my point. Genus Royal Academy, it must be around there. Olivier, you're pretty clever. Okay, I don't care if it's a ghost or whatever. We're gonna go to the academy and find out just what it is. Hmm, Jean, uh, Jean, it's cool, yeah? Absolutely. I'll phone ahead, go on over and investigate. See if you can get to the bottom of all this. I do have to wonder if our reporter friends uh, have any plans, however. 
I really can't afford to cut out on the election. Okay, Dorothy. Dorothy, I'll leave this in your hands. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'll do some real ghost hunting. I'll get tons of pictures. No, help solve the damn mystery. You follow Estelle and take pictures relating to this ghost mess. Oh, okay. I don't really get it, but I'll do my best. Uh, hey, we didn't actually agree to this part. Now, now, they did get us that photograph, so let's uh, help them out in return, okay? Right, fine. The camera girl can come too. <sighs> kind of feels like th this will eat away on any seriousness the situation might have had. Still, Dorothy probably can help us out, so... That's settled then. I'm counting on you guys. If you'll excuse me, I have a couple of mayoral candidates to interview. <clears throat> oh, before that though, Estelle. Your dad told me a little bit about the Joshua thing. Not a lot, but enough for me to get the picture. I know you're worried about, uh, those people. If I hear anything that might be related, I'll forward it to the guild. What? Um... So, uh, yeah, keep... Uh, keep a stiff upper lip, or, uh, something. Anyway, gotta go. Niall. Aw, Niall's embarrassed. It was a really big shock when he heard about it all from Cassius, I think. I think he's really been looking for a way to help you, Estelle. Really? Oh, if he... If only he could be a little more honest, it'd be sweet. I'll make sure to contact the guild, too, if I take any more uh, neato photographs of weird people. So, Estelle, fight on, yeah, or something. Thanks, Dorothy. Anyway, off to the Royal Academy. Like I said, I'll call ahead and let them know uh, to let you in. Good luck, guys. We're counting on you. know why I'm bothering to ask at this point, but I suppose you want to come too, Olivier. <laughs> oh, my dear Estelle, you may as well uh, ask if a fish sw swim or birds fly. Why, after all, do you think I abandoned the warm, moist embrace of Elmo to come here? Figures. Mm. Again, uh, what do you think? Should he come with us? Whatever, I don't care that much. Let's get one thing straight, though. I don't really trust you, pal. You do anything strange, and I'll wreck you, clear? Ah, <sighs> such hostility, such negativity, what a pity. Sometimes, a wild type like you isn't bad either, you know. What? Ah, uh, but fear not. I shall refrain from pouring my affection into your untamed vessel until I... I've earned your trust. Screw it! How about I wreck you right now, then? Whoa! Some, something feels really adult here. It's exciting. Oh boy, time to start locking your door at night, okay? <laughs> Alright, so Olivier has joined the party. Am I shocked? Uh, a little. I thought he would have uh, taken just a little bit longer. Uh, we'll give him prevention from poison. Uh, <laughs> I still like that description. Did I give that to anyone else? She has a silver chain which gives her defense, so probably not. Uh, let's see. Faint, poison, you know what? There you go. Actually, uh, blind status would be really bad for him. You can have that. His new portrait is, uh, something. I'll give him that. Alright, what do you got? Uh, what was your...
I saw one of his, um... <clears throat> his courts was specifically for something. I thought it was, like, space. Whatever. Uh, so we'll give him mine. He's gonna be a bit of a ranged attacker, so... We'll give him an EP cut, and... Sure, why not? All right, now, uh, where to? Actually, I want to go to the Orble Factory because I can upgrade some slots. There we go, and there we go. I can go for a third, but I'm going to hold off just a bit, see if I can get anything good. I don't have a blind. And blind would be actually pretty useful. I'll just get one for now. I don't have an impede, but I don't have enough wind sepith. Impede would be really nice. Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, we're good to go. No, we're not. Uh. There you go. And. Another nice cheap one. No. There you go. And I can't upgrade any of all of yours because, uh, not enough Sepeth. Alright, uh, we could go to the Genesis Royal Academy, or we can check to see if that hidden quest is available. Well, uh, that turned out to be a waste. Alright, to the Royal Academy, I guess. Actually, no. Before we do that... Let's make sure there aren't any new... Yep, Sunday School Lecturer. We request a kind racer to come serve as a Sunday school teacher. You will be asked to explain to the children about the duties and mission of a bracer. Uh, persons with time, please come urgently to the Ruan Chapel. Sister uh, Freida will explain the details of the job. The Chrome Trail Monster. Uh, the Hapil Sag. Has been sighted along the Crone Trail. Braces affiliate. Okay. Uh, poisonous Tail. Respond to the monster equipped with anti-venom gear. Got that. And then the Orion Causeway monster. The Ash Saber. Uh, extremely resilient to arts. Respond with physical attacks. Uh. Well, this one's short. Sunday school lecturer. So we gotta go to the church. They don't mind, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing it's that building. Well, I have to go over here. We've never been to the Ruan Chapel, have we? This is our first time actually coming in here. Hello. Are you attending Sunday school? Da da da. Oh yeah, we're supposed to talk to his sister. There we go. Oh my! Are you here because you saw my request? Yes ma'am, sure did. It's pretty urgent, right? Yes, today I'll have... I'd like to ask you to act as a guest teacher at Sunday School. How about it? Are you available? Yeah, I can do it. I'm not super confident, but I'll give it my best shot. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I had to ask a bracer named Karna to be a uh, guest lecturer, but she suddenly had to leave on guild business. It put the church in a fix, and I was very disheartened. I see. So that's why it's so sudden. So what should I do? First, come into the side room. I'll explain what I'd like uh, for the class there. I see. 
Okay, yeah, I think I get the gist. Start with an explanation of the guild, move on to overview of Bracer's job, and then last but not least, answer the kids' questions correctly, right? Yes. Uh, that will be plenty. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going back to class. I'll call for you mo uh, I'll call you momentarily, so please wait here until then. Still, truly, the world is a strange place. Oh, for once we agree. I was just thinking that myself. Hmm? What's up? Is there something on my face? No, but not even I could have predicted this. To think that uh, the day would come for uh, when Estelle would take the altar. Sure is a big surprise, isn't it? Yeah, seriously. This one's more uh, the being taught type than teaching type. Well, that's sure nice to say, I think. True, I'm not super confident, but I should uh, be fine teaching some kids. That's nice and all, but whatever. I'm going to nap until it's over. What are you going to do, Olivier? While I have little to offer, you have my full attention and support. The class should be well visible from the second floor here, so I'd like to watch from there. Oh, nice idea. I, th I should take tons of pictures. Please don't screw anything up, you two. Now then, everyone, we're going to have a guest teacher for the remainder of the class. They've taken time out of their busy schedule to come speak to us, so don't be rude, okay? Okay! Alright, come on out. Miss, who are you? I was just about to introduce myself. Give me a sec. Alright, well, hello. I'm Estelle Bright. I'm still pretty new to the job, but I'm what we call a bracer. What? You're a bracer? No way, that's so cool. How old are you, miss? Now, now, we'll have time for questions after. First, let us, uh, let... Let's have our guests review what we've already gone over. If you wouldn't mind, Mrs. Estelle. Ahem. Okay, is everyone ready? Let's go over today's class real quick. <laughs> class began about all bracer activities. Choose the correct answer and guide the this special class to success. First, let's talk about my job as a bracer. So, a bracer is a specialist at investigation and combat. And our main duty as bracers is... 1. Uh, security of nations' borders and maintaining public order. 2. Protection of the peace and citizenry of local regions. 3. Discover and sealing of ruined art uh, relics. I believe it is this. The protection of the peace and citizenry of local regions. We don't just slay monsters and prevent crimes either. Bracers protect goods in transit and even look for lost items. We help in a variety of ways. Alright, that was perfect. Bracers are broadly divided into two groups, Senior Bracers and Junior Bracers. Of those, Junior Bracers are what you might call trainees, and by successfully completing missions and training hard, they eventually earn a promotion to become full Bracers. But even once you become a full Bracer, you're further divided up into different classes. We call these ranks in each rank is assigned in accordance to your experience and success. Seven ranks from G to A, five ranks from basic to high, 
nine ranks from class nine to class one. I believe it's this. There are seven ranks from G to A. These are the only formal ranks, and when a bracer is close to being promoted, a plus is added to said rank. Furthermore, there is also an S rank, but it's kind of an un unofficial honorary rank given to persons who have performed exceptional deeds. So, publicly, A rank bracers are the highest bracers in the guild. Yes, I am killing it! Are these kids even going to understand half of what you're saying? Alright, let's talk about the organization that managed bracers, the Bracer Guild. I think you uh, learned in this in class, but the guild operates not just in Liberal Kingdom, but all over. The global organization was established about the same time as the Orbital Revolution, which was... Uh... 50 years ago. Roughly 50 years ago. Orbital technology and the guild are deeply connected. Even now we receive financial support from foundations related to Orbital Orbital technology. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Man, I'm good. Er, so next, uh, we'll talk about the guild's relationship with foreign countries. At the moment, the guild has branches ac across the entire continent, but the reason the guild has uh, been able to expand to this level is because it is a non-governmental organization with no ties to a specific nation. But even with its uh, practical activities, the guild has a lot to think about. For example, uh, they have to keep the promises to prevent them from ending up opposed to nations. The most famous <clears throat> promise related to that is non-combat agreement with, uh... Alright, what's the most important agreement the guild has to keep with this nation it works in? Uh, the non-interference. The agreement of non-interference with state powers. In other words, no sticking our noses into state affairs or systems. Problems uh, with national boundaries are ultimately something for that country's people to think about. Commenting on or interfering with this kind of thing is against international rules. Yes, nailed it! The guild uses a lot of methods like this to separate its duties from a nation's. Of course, not Everything is always solved so simply according to codes, but... So, sometimes in emergencies, you can end up in situations that are contradictory to the code. But in times like that, bracers are asked to put one basic principle above all else. In other words, we bracers in all situations should... Prioritize the decision of the government, prioritize the safety of civilians, cooperation with the army. That, I believe, is the safety of civilians. Prioritize the safety of civilians. If you think about uh, this first and foremost, then you'll naturally be guided to the correct action. Well, sometimes when you try ta taking action, you'll end up with a whole bunch of other problems. But overcoming stuff like that is part of the job, too. Yeah, that's a good summary. And that pretty much sums up, uh, sums us up. How was it? Did everyone understand? That ends the first half of the class. Very impressive, Estelle. You're performing wonderfully as a teacher. Such, uh... Such fearlessness. Such a verve. Alright, it's time uh, you've all been waiting for. If you got anything you want to ask our guests, go ahead and raise your hand. Please, Miss Estelle, carry on. Sure thing. Leave it to me. Who's ready to get their questions answered? Q&A time. Any questions goes. Select the correct answer and overcome any risky or questionable uh, questions. 
<clears throat> oh, oh, pick me, pick me. Wow, you sure got a lot of energy. What's your question? Um, um, when can you become a bracer? What age can you become a bracer? Well, to become a bracer, you first need to become a junior bracer. You can become one if you pass the test, but to take the test, you're required to be 16 years of age. You're required to be 16 or older. Of course, even if you pass the exam, you don't instantly become one. For a while, you'll receive training under the guidance of an older bracer. Once you've gained enough experience there, you'll finally become a junior bracer. Okay, so you gotta be 16. Okay, got it. Thanks, miss. <clears throat> I think he just filtered out that other stuff. Excuse me, teacher. May I ask a question? Far away. Do you gotta beat up monsters no matter what? Some of them are really cute. That's a good question. How to respond to monsters is tough. But in general... Uh, based on appearance, defeat them, obviously. Prioritize, uh, client's intent. We prioritize the client's intent. There's absolutely, uh, there's no absolute right answer when dealing with monsters. It really depends on the situation. So, if a client doesn't demand their extermination, we may sometimes let them go. It was a kind of tricky question, but it looks like I was able to answer perfectly. Oh, okay. May I, may I ask a question too? Sure, go for it. There's a case a while back where the Sky Bandits attacked an airliner. Was it the Royal Army who arrested the Sky Bandits or was it the Bracers? You mean the disappearance of the Lind? The ones who uh, finally arrested the Sky Bandits were... Uh... Wait, so I have to... Do I have to give up my... What should we call it? Yeah. The Royal Arm for Army Forces. In the final uh, entry mission, the Bracers and the Royal Army work together using a pincer move to corner them. When the Sky Bandits tried to flee, the Royal Army caught and arrested them. In other words, the Bracers and the Royal Army cooperated to flush them out. Okay, so the Royal Army and the Bracers work together? That's so cool! Can I ask something? Oh. Sure, go ahead. I'm actually studying for... Oh no wait, this... This looks older. I'm actually studying for the... In, uh, for entrance exams and just forgot this, but... Which of the three principles in the code is the... Uh, Protective duty to citizens, uh, civilians. Hey, how the heck am I supposed to remember something like that? <clears throat> Wait a sec, the protective duty to cilia, civilians principle? That is, um... Guild code principle... Uh, stray? Uh, eeny meeny miny you. Guild Code Principle 2, I think? Oh yeah, I knew that. Sorry. No, it's fine. I may have survived that one. Er, so, no more questions? Okay, I've got a question then. Go ahead. Um, so it doesn't have much to do with the class, but... When the mayor was arrested, the Queen's airship came, right? How, how big was the airship? I knew there'd be one. There's always one with some weirdo question that has nothing to do with anything. By the Queen's ship, do you mean the our sail? Yeah, that, that. It looked real big, but I wonder how big it really was. <clears throat> the our sail size. I think I've read about that in a book before. Uh, 42? I think... It had an overall length of 42 arg, if I remember right. That might not be exactly precise, but should be close. 
Wow, that's huge. Thanks, Mrs. Stell. <laughs> yeah, there is always one with, uh, uh, with a question not relating to anything in class. Any more questions, children? If not, then I believe that's all for our guest speaker today. Everyone say thank you to Mrs. Stell. Bye, kids. I wonder what happens if you botch that, like, completely. Thank you for your time. I know you were, you're quite busy. The children were overjoyed. That was a wonderful lecture. <laughs> Thanks. I was pretty nervous before I did it, but if they had fun, then it was worth it. I do apologize for cutting things short, but I have more classes if you'll pardon me. Should be, uh, should the chance come again, I would love to have you back for another talk. Sure thing. Seems you manage, uh, things just fine. Oh, somehow. No need to be so humble. I witnessed your performance. You were a fantastic teacher. Ah, oh, come on, really? Still, it made me think about just how much I don't know. Every time they asked for details, I started panicking. You just gotta keep working at it, that's all. No one's gonna, uh, gonna want anything from a bracer that doesn't even know the code. Yeah, I'll keep working at it, I promise. And we're done with that one. And since we're right here, may as well. <laughs> Go upstairs, yes. They gave us some bonus Mira and some bonus BP. <gasps> We've advanced to F rank. We've got the Absorb Quartz. Good work. Seems you safely achieved your goal. Yep. Any more? Nope. So we just got the Crone Trail Monster and the Orion Causeway Monster. Crone Trail. That's uh. That's gonna take me back. Let's see. Um. Uh, Crone Pass. So we're probably gonna have to go past Minoria. They want us to go to Genesis Royal Academy. Let's see. And where was the other one? Orion Causeway? Where's that at? And it doesn't say. Airline and Sophia. I think that's just past. I think it's south. My right. Probably not. And is it even gonna let me go? Oh, it will. Yep, the Orion Causeway. So we've got a monster specifically here. Very well. Let us hunt it down. Uh, was this the one that was gonna be... Uh, alright, so physical. Oof. Uh... Give me one sec. Uh, 